If you want to create a flower bed or a vegetable bed in an area that is currently lawn or an overgrown space, you have three main options. The first two are much easier if you already have access to a large amount of topsoil or compost. The easiest of these is the no dig option, which basically involves taking that topsoil or compost and layering it on top of the area that you want to grow in and then planting straight into it. If however you have really aggressive grass or weed growth in that area you might want to lay down some cardboard first to suppress that a little bit. The second option is very similar but it just involves placing a frame that you have built around the edge and then filling that in with soil. It's called a raised bed and it's great for use in an area where the soil quality is poor or where you have species that you want to kind of contain and prevent them from spreading to other parts of your garden and it's also very good if you find that you've been digging down and hitting a lot of bedrock. The last option which is my own choice for this garden which is in rented accommodation and I'm looking to leave as little impact as I possibly can is to strip the sod which basically involves slicing through and removing the root network which is on top of the soil and then planting down into that soil. You need to loosen it first and things like that. And if the soil quality is poor, you may also need to add some well-rotted manure or some compost or some other organic fertilizers to that. Please bear in mind that no matter which option you use, your crops could still very well be vulnerable to insects and other kinds of wildlife. So if you think that you're gonna to need to put up protections for that kind of thing, that's something you might wanna bear in mind when planning which kind of bed is the best for you and your space. I hope you found this helpful. I'm really only just kind of learning about gardening myself and there's so much to learn. So if there's any queries you have about digging beds or if there's any similar questions you'd like answered, just drop them in the comments below and we'll learn together.